Hi, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. It's Luke here, and today we're going to be looking at some of the new products in the M5 Stack range. It's been quite some time since we've done one of these videos, mainly down to COVID-19, not being able to get hold of these products, but here we are catching up on a few of these things that you might have missed. Most of our products we'll be looking at today are focused around the Atom whether it be the Atom Light or the Atom Matrix. And there's one new addition to that Atom family also, which we'll take a look at first. Here we have the Atom Echo. The Atom Echo is a miniature device with the same footprint as the M5 Atom and M5 Lite that is designed to be a voice assistant. So think of something like uh, Amazon Alexa or a Google Assistant device. Basically, this device has all that you need to get started off with a project like that. Say, for instance, it has a mic built in. The mic it's using is the SPM1423. Uh, it has an ESP32 Pico chip built in, so it's using the same chip as the Stick C and the regular M5 Atom. And of course it has a speaker inside. So the speaker is a 0.5 watt, eight ohm speaker. And so with the ability to connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you can use this to uh, control things with your voice. There are various text to speech or speech to text uh, libraries for Arduino that you could use. And we'll be showing some of the projects that you can do with this later on. So uh, that's it for this device. Let's have a look at some of the specifications. Okay, let's have a look what else we have. So the M5 Atom and M5 Lite have been around for a little bit now, since the start of the year. And a lot of you are probably wanting to develop more complex projects with these devices. Uh, and there's not so much space inside the case to build out upon this device. So we've developed some prototyping kits. We have the M5 Atomic DIY Proto Kit and also the M5 Atom Hub Proto. So the Atomic DIY Proto Kit is kind of a miniature version. It has a nice case. Um, where you can put your M5 Atom or M5 light here. It already has the pins soldered in and it has a case here that is uh, attached to the back and you have your regular Lego mounting holes, um, M3 screw holes, uh, also the screw mounting hole here that you can slide it onto a screw and inside is basically a solderable board and you can snap this piece off and solder your own components into there. And it's been built with this um, air hole design so that if you have a component that's temperature critical or a microphone, it also comes with an extra proto board there. So if you mess up, don't worry about that. And it also comes with these uh, VH3.96 connectors, screw terminal connectors. So uh, let's see what you make with that. Similarly, the Atom Hub Proto um, is um, essentially the same thing, but with a bigger case and different ways to uh, break the pins out. So it has this proto board inside with the built-in Grove connector there and the mounting pins here. And on the case, we have various plastic parts that you can pop out for attaching different kinds of connectors or uh, leading wires out the back. And it has a back plate. Again, the M3 connectors on the back also. And included in the kit, there's also a DIN rail connector. And there's also a whole bunch of VH3.96 connectors. 
a bunch of dust plugs, uh, magnets, stickers, um, a power, 9 volt power adapter, and hex keys for attaching the screws, of course. And so if you want to make your own custom product, products, the M5 Atom Hub Proto and the Atom Proto DIY kit are a perfect choice for that. Okay, moving on, let's have a look. We have various different ways to convert signals with the Atom. So in industrial applications, generally there's uh, two standards that are used quite often, RS-232 and RS-485. So here we have um, three different devices for that, both compatible with the M5 Atom and M5 Lite again. The RS-232 conversion kit and the RS-485 conversion kit. Also we have this uh, RS-485 tail. Um, so this is just essentially a miniature version it has a chip in there to convert the signal. But these two devices also have a DC to DC uh, voltage regulator inside, which converts the voltage from 12 volts down to five volts. And also built into this nice little case in a very similar style to the Atomic DIY Proto Kit that we just looked at. Same connectors on the back with the Lego M3, etc. And these, both of these kits come with an Atom Lite device. You can use it with an M5 Atom if you already have one, but they do come with the M5 Atom Lite. Okay, let's have a look at a few more of the specifications of these. Okay, let's have a look what we have next. So if you have a project in mind that you want to do with the M5 Atom or Lite and you don't want to have it tethered to a USB cable, we have the Tailbat device. The Tailbat is essentially a power bank for the M5 Atom, which has a 190 milliamp hour battery built in. Still allows you to connect different devices to the grill port and you can charge the battery up by the USB-C connector on the back. Also has a single button that's programmable and an RGB LED here to indicate the charge level of the battery. Next up, we have some add-ons for the M5 Atom, which add different functionalities. Uh, the first is the Atomic GPS and TF. So this could be used as a tracking device, whether you're on your bike or in your car, etc. Um, it's compatible with both the M5 Atom and the light. The kit comes with uh, an Atom light, but you could switch it out for an M5 Atom if you wanted to display something. It outputs the GPS data in uh, NMEA0183 protocol standard. So it's compatible with Galileo, GLONASS, all of those other common GPS standards. Let's have a look at a few of the other specifications of this device. Next up, we have an M5 Atom add-on, which adds SD card functionality, the Atomic TF card kit. So this simply adds in a spring-loaded SD card slot which supports up to 16 gigabyte cards for logging data, storing your libraries, all that kind of thing. And there's also a little bit of extra room in there, so you could add in some extra components or sensors if needed. So if your project required a TF card but didn't require GPS, you could simply use the Atomic TF card kit. Lastly, we have these servo kits both 360 degree and 180 degree servos. Great for using in your robotics projects. Each kit comes with two servos and a bunch of accessories. So what's particularly special about this? Well, you can get these standard SG90 servos anywhere, but what's nice about this is you have this little 
injection molded jacket that goes around and fits pretty firmly to the servo. I actually had trouble trying to get this one off. And it has two Lego insert holes so you can just slot some Lego pins in there. And then attach it to a piece of Lego. Very handy. And I'm intending to make some videos in the future showing you how you can make some little robot cars with these Lego servos. So stay tuned for that. Also, we have these nice little fixtures that you can find in the kit. It's a little uh, servo hat that slots on there and has the crossbar so you can then attach it to a shaft or directly attach a Lego arm onto it. Also there are these little wheels which have a nice little rubber ring around the edge for grip. They slot right on there and these also have the Lego mounting holes. Okay. And these also have the Lego mounting holes. Also inside the pack we have your regular servo uh, hat connectors and also two of these servo uh, attachment to Grove cable converters. So lots of Lego projects that we can do with these. Now let's have a look at some of the projects that we can build with some of the devices we've looked at today. Two of the projects that I particularly like are this one by Lemariva Tech. He's showing you how to get started with the M5 Atom Echo to record and play back audio. Also there's this demo of web radio on the M5 Atom Echo which appears to use Bluetooth. I'll post the links for these down in the description. That's about it for today's video. Hope you have some interesting projects in mind for the products that we've looked at today. If you do, make sure to leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.